welcome back to my channel. I woke up today in a really bad mood. So what I've done is put makeup on and tried to sort of like make myself feel a little bit better by looking a little bit better. I don't know. That works for some people, doesn't work for others. For me, it kind of works because I'm like, if I feel good, if I look good, it's all part of the illusion of everything's okay. Anyway, today I thought I'd show you that I'm trying out these tights that you guys recommend or pantyhose as some of my American followers say. They're basically the ones that don't ladder. So they're called sheer techs. I'll show you the packaging. So they look like this. Inside they say believe the impossible because the impossible is that they, they don't ladder. So like you can give them a really good like tug. You can like scrunch them up like that and they don't they just don't ladder so well, let's see how that goes today i'm gonna go around town these are the less denia and these are a bit thicker denia so i'm wearing the thicker ones today and uh yeah i'm really excited i am really excited to see how i get on with them it looks like a really bright day today in chichester i've been cooped up in the house i've not really been going out and i think that's because it's been raining winter's here but the sunshine is here today it will be cold but sunny not warm i'm gonna go for a little stroll and i might try treat myself to a new makeup bag because my makeup bag is falling apart basically. Whilst we're here I just thought I would let you know that I'm reading The Miracle Morning at the moment. I'm about that far in. One of the things I really really like about it is that it is trying to change the way you treat yourself in the morning. So one of the things it sort of encourages you to do, well wake up earlier for one, which I don't necessarily agree with. I think we've all got our own body clock. If I wake up at 8am or 7am that's kind of like the natural time that I wake up. I don't think I'll ever be like some of the case studies in the book that end up waking up at four and having this amazing morning but one thing I do really like is that it encourages you to like do things for yourself and your own mindset in the morning before you go on your emails or your phone or become a, a slave to other people and what other people want or need from you you get your head straight you get yourself straight and then you sort of get on with your day and do whatever it is I don't know if any of you've been watching my channel for a while but about a month or so ago I uploaded a video about my emotions and crying and stuff and I haven't actually cried for two weeks and I think it might be because of this book so something to do with waking up in the morning doing like affirmations and just writing down everything that's on your mind just pen and paper well pencil I use a pencil and just sort of writing it out I think it's allowed me to like free up a lot of space in my mind so I've been keeping like a cry diary and I've, I haven't cried for ages that feels really nice I would highly recommend this book one of the best things as well sorry just to go on about it again is this the whole like snooze thing the snooze button on your alarm and what that says about you as a person if you're constantly someone that just snoozes and snoozes and snoozes it there's a really good paragraph on it I should probably read it when the buzzer goes off in the morning and you're tempted to snooze you start thinking wait this is not who I want to become someone who doesn't even have enough discipline to get out of bed in the morning I'm, up, I'm getting up now because I'm committed to waking up early hitting my goals creating the life of my dreams etc and I just thought that was quite nice because it is like subconscious messaging to your brain if you're somebody who constantly snoozes the alarm or puts things off it kind of is like your way of saying to yourself like I don't really care enough and I'm, I'm not committed to myself or to my goals there's a little deep <laughs> get deep with Leah miracle morning highly recommend I better put it back nicely because that's been arranged nicely there's some other books down there that I'm slowly getting through if you're into a bit of book reviewing maybe I can do a bit of that on this channel I'm still finding my way with this channel I'm still trying to find exactly what it is that I'm doing and that's okay sorry I've just realized I've completely contradicted myself I told you that I woke up in a terrible mood and that is because the boiler's broken so we're having issues with this boiler unfortunately when you're a tenant sometimes your landlord the owner of the flat they can be a, a bit shit a bit pathetic just dealing with that really that's why i woke up in a bad mood but apart from that miracle morning <laughs> I've changed into a different top because I think that dark one was a bit of a clash. Let's see how it goes with the sheer text today. I mean, I'm not going to be doing anything too risky, but you know, just when you wear tights in general, sometimes you could just sit down in a coffee shop and then get up from the chair and something on the chair has allowed them to ladder. So I'm, I am really, really looking forward to seeing how they go. If they do ladder, I will be truly devastated <laughs> because everyone hypes them up so much. And I must add that the brand have actually sent me these for free. So I've not been paid to say any, say or do any of this they just purely gifted me the product and i'm just trying them out for fun there's some bits here that i'm going to be giving to the charity shop this nike top that i never wear and this feeler jumper that i bought ages ago and just never wore it i think it made me look like a little bit of a potato so i'm sure there'll be someone that wants that i've also got a couple of other bits that's going to the charity shop there some of Atch's stuff so we'll see 
nice folding Leah. She just uh, is looking nice and bright and sunny today. I'm actually just going to pop into H&M because my hands are so cold. It looks bright but it's freezing. I could do with a pair of gloves and I've got a voucher here. I got a bit distracted by the sale and I haven't even looked for the gloves yet. I've been in here for 10 minutes. Atra just told me that he's booked to the cinema for tonight so that's really exciting. That has lifted my mood. I really really like doing that. We started going to the cinema again and it's just like yeah. Why don't we do this more? Fun fact about me, I've got absolutely ginormous hands, so I will always be buying a large when it comes to gloves. Let me just show you like how big my hands are. They're massive for my height anyway. Just seen this makeup bag and I quite like the look of it because I can see what's inside it without going into it. So I think I will get all, oh, and that one's even a bit smaller. I might even get that. Yay! All of that only came to like three pounds because I had the voucher. I got the gloves that have got the little phone thing on so I can use them when I'm walking and uh, when I need to make a phone call. And I've just nipped into TK Maxx because I need some footwear. Might treat myself today. Just found these really nice Calvin Klein shoes, but they're just a bit too big. Could do with half size less. I've actually got quite big feet as well. I'm like five and a half, sometimes a six. They're a six and they're too big though. I wish I had a bathroom big enough to buy body wash in bulk for that size, but I don't. Anyway, bought quite a lot of things in there. Lipstick, shoes, moisturizer. You can tell I'm having one of those days where I need a bit of retail therapy. Guys, I just popped into Hotel Chocolat and I bought these really cute, Valentine's Day little chocolates. There were so many extravagant things there, but this is just little two chocolates in here. And because Atch is watching what he eats and so am I, I thought that it wouldn't be too crazy. Just getting those two. Yay, I've got no plans at the moment for Valentine's Day. So if anyone's got any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Currently obsessed with Twining's Earl Grey and it is on offer at the moment. So I'm buying it, stocking up. As we're going to the cinema, I thought I'd better buy some popcorn because the cinema is just not the same without it. Two of those. I actually probably want more than that, but that's just what it is. Back at home now and just had a mini panic because I thought I left my camera in that supermarket when I was paying for the popcorn. Anyway, one eventful little mooch out. I clearly needed a bit of retail therapy because I bought quite a few little bits. Stocked up tonight for the cinema, which I'm feeling great about. Got my Earl Grey, because I love it. We're drinking more and more Earl Grey, we're drinking less and less PG or Tetley, like, you know, normal tea. The bags that I was gonna give to the charity shop, I ended up seeing a um, homeless guy. I just asked him if he needed a backpack and a hat and some of Atch's stuff. And he was like, yeah, please, please. So I ended up giving him all that stuff, not the charity shop. And then with the Nike stuff, just gonna do it tomorrow because I wanted to get back and get the food on. Here's one of the um, body lotions that I bought in TK Maxx. I really, really, really like this brand called Balance Me. I was first introduced to Balance Me in Sweden. They gave us like this vitamin C under eye serum and it made me feel amazing. I've not actually tried anything else, but I'm looking forward to trying this. And I think the rest of the stuff I showed you in town, including those shoes from TK Maxx, which are like in the style of the, the Gucci kind of Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Lots of people wear these. these aren't Gucci obviously. They were £10 in the sale. Oh and the tights have survived really well. No ladders. The only thing I have noticed about these tights is that when you look in the mirror you can tell that the material's different to other tights because like you can see like downward lines in them. That's not necessarily something that bothers me but it might bother other people if you want that kind of like I don't know how to explain it. The effect of just not that effect basically. I don't really know what you would describe that as. Uh, it doesn't really bother me though. Last thing that I bought was a nude lipstick. So ever since I had my makeup done over at Grace's salon by uh, a lovely girl called Ella, she used a nude lip on me and I really, really liked it. I don't know the name of the brand, but this one looks quite nice. Okay, I don't, okay, not too sure actually. We'll see. I'll go in the bathroom and see if I like that. I just wanted something more, just different. Oh, I know why. It's because I've already got pink lipstick on. I need to do it with n nothing starting. Just shows how good I am at makeup. So that's by Kylie, Chloe, M Malika, Chloe Malika, Becca. Has anyone ever heard of this? Found it in TK Maxx. Okay, so you might remember last year I did a short film and we filmed it in like this tower block in Whitechapel. It's called Cut Off. The director, Nick, amazing guy. He's one quarter of a production company called Mr. Tibbs. Nick cast me in his short. I play a girl called Tash who's, let's just say, she's a little bit slow. She, she's, she's a bit, I don't know, dead behind the eyes. Okay, I don't know. I'll let other people make up their mind about what Tash is, but I played it in 
in the way I played it. And if anyone wants to watch it, I'm going to leave the link in the top line of my description. Do check it out. We're trying to spread the word out there. Nick is going to be shopping it around and seeing if there's potential for it to go further. More episodes or a little, you know, series and stuff like that. So that was really cool. I went to a little premiere screening of it in London, along with lots of other short comedies that were screening that night and had a really, really good time. Super proud of that and happy to have been part of it. Fingers crossed for more little acting roles like that this year. 2020, come at me. Yeah, sorry, ignore that, my microwave's going. But tonight on the menu for the HelloFresh, it's steak strips, cheesy chips and gravy. Now, it says that the entire calories each is 347, but that just can't be true, can it? 347 calories for steak and chips. If so, I'm just gonna go absolutely mental later. So I've got loads of calories left. I just, I don't know if that's right. That can't be right, can it? Right, I've done my lunch. It's a jacket potato with cheese and beans. I just need a bit of comfort food after all this drama with the boiler. Not gonna complain, everything's fine. I've put the cheese on first, then the beans. Normally I'd do it the other way around, but you know, you live and learn. I do not understand this weather. It is just this moment started throwing it down and I could hear thunder. Oh, people are running home. <gasps> I, this is why I think I've been feeling a bit miserable. It's just been like this constantly. I'm so lucky I got out earlier. Anyway, I know I said I haven't cried in two weeks. I've just cut a red onion and no joke, my eyes were <laughs> welling up. I was trying so hard not to cry, but that doesn't count because it's an onion. That's not emotions. I have just finished the steak with the cheesy chips and there is absolutely no way on this earth that this is less than 300 calories. Look at this plate. I've done cheesy wedges, broccoli, yeah, okay, that's quite low calorie. And then the steak strips, which have got like a mushroomy onion sauce, which is why I was crying earlier. If that is 370 something calories, I should eat that again. Sure. Oh, hot. Atch will be home from work any minute now, by the way. And one of his favorite things is coming home when food is cooked. And then one of my favorite things is when he does all the washing up because I've done all the cooking. He's home from work and he's brought me a gift. I don't know what's inside here. It's quite a big box, Atch. From work, Rolls Royce. It's obviously not a car. Let's see. <gasps> nice! Prosecco! Pre Premier Estates Prosecco. This is probably going to be like the most fancy Prosecco ever. Two glasses. Oh, these are nice glasses as well. And we don't have any like this in our house. Oh, is that the spirit of ecstasy on the glasses? Yeah. So cool. <coughs> clink, clink. Oh, a gift to show our appreciation as if I'm a, royal, a loyal customer of Rolls Royce. Thank you very much, Arch. I really hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. It's been really nice doing a little daily vlog. As I said, tonight, Atch and I are going to the cinema to watch 1917. I believe it's a war film. I've seen a lot about it online. I've seen a lot of women tweeting about it as well. Some negative things, sort of saying that they don't agree that stories like that should still be being told because there's no females in the film or something but there weren't any females like on the front line at war so i don't really understand why they shouldn't be telling those stories it doesn't really make sense to me but anyway we're gonna go and see it looking forward to that yeah that's kind of it it's gonna be a late cinema screening i'm stretching out my back by the way i'm not trying to do anything weird that's pretty much it i really hope you've enjoyed this vlog lots of love see you soon au revoir adios amigos oh and go and watch that film if you haven't watched it already see ya bye <laughs> Thank you.